Hello, this is Guy Bowling from JoeBlow.com. How you doing today? Good, good. Lovely to meet you. Hi. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you as well. I, um, you know, I had a chance to uh, see your film when we were covering it for Sundance, and I absolutely loved it and just thought it was so like hauntingly beautiful. And I was surprised to learn it was your directorial debut as well. So congrats on that too. Uh, thanks, um, Thank you. I was wondering, just in general, how did you? What inspired? the concept for you and how did you go about like kind of coming along coming along with the story itself mm. uh, um i normally write relationship drama so i just thought i'd try and do something with a genre premise uh but try to treat it um the way i would anything else i write where it's very driven by characters and their feelings mm. um and then yeah in deciding to do genre i went with horror pretty quickly because i feel like it's the right for, for me anyway it's a great combination of something that is very you know transporting but still very much of this world compared to like sci-fi. I mean, you know, sci-fi is wonderful as well, but like I wanted to do something that is still very connected and, and kind of on it. Um, and then I tend to mainly write from women's perspectives. So making the story about a witch just felt very like logical for me and instinctive. Um, I tried to research folk tales from the particular region where the film is set, uh, which is where uh, actually one of my grandparents is from. And, I'm very connected to it. Um, the folk tales weren't very helpful, <laughs> but um, <laughs> very limiting. And there's not that many of them because people right. are busy trying to stay alive, not really writing stories down at the time. <laughs> um, so uh, I kind of then looked at historical stuff and was struck by this thing that is, happens across the world, not just in that region, obviously, where it used to happen, uh, where women who were accused of witchcraft tended to be accused of taking the shape of other humans uh, right. or animals. And I thought, well, if you can do that, and the rest of the world is as it was in uh, this 19th century agrarian cyclical community, what would life be like uh, for, right. for this person? And then I kind of had a sense of uh, a stream of consciousness uh, coming to me of the main character. Uh, some of the sentences that are now the voiceover just came to me kind of, you know, in individual. Uh, they're now all over the place, but it, they came right. to me kind of stream. Um, and yeah, trying to, I, I went about connecting that consciousness with you know, the real reality of what life was like and this book, right. it's two witches hovering around it. Yeah, I like I like what you said about like writing this from the female perspective, because that was very much evident in the film. And then using horror as like a backdrop to kind of tell a story like this, where there's all these themes of like, you know, motherhood and loneliness and kind of mm. and being an outsider too, in the case of the witch and all that. Um, you know, when it came to like coming up with the characters, were you like, was it like a how well thought out were they coming into like doing the film? Like, did you already kind of have like who they were going to be and like kind of what story you wanted to tell with them? Um, I don't know. No, not really. I think, uh, like I said, the voiceover came to me sort of in distinct sentences and a distinct cadence. Mm -hmm. So like, okay, what kind of brain created that, you know, or would have created that? I, I tend to sort of write from a gut instinct. I don't, I don't like to sort of come up with something, you know, with the conscious part of my brain. Um, I, I tend to sort of just, uh, you know, it all kind of comes from like, oh, it's a word vomit that I kind of type out as frantically as I possibly can, because it all just right. comes in a rush and often my fingers can't quite, you know, keep up. And then once everything's out, then I go, how do we shave this, essentially? Right. Um, how do we connect this? Um, and the two main characters came to me as energies, essentially. It feels like I could kind of see their eyes, not really their full, you know, face and figure, and also just, I don't know, the, the feeling you get in your chest if you are them, essentially, right. so I would describe it. And I go from that and try and I kind of give it, you know, body and, and dimension, and then go look at the world that would be around them at the time. And how does this set of feelings interact with this world? And where, where do the problems arise? And what, how do they deal with them? Um, and yeah, that, that's kind of where it came from. Nice. Well, I want to thank you so much. They're wrapping me up, but with two questions, I got a lot from you. So I really, okay. I really Sorry. appreciate it. No, no, you're great. I really appreciate it so much. Uh, congratulations on the film. It's great. I loved it. And I can't wait for other people to get a chance to see it, man. Oh, uh, thank you, man. Thanks so much.
Hoje não me chosa copat. Este herói não me. Não te amo, Jato. 